matter is uh, quite urgent, and I plead that the House allow me to move the motion expeditiously. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleague. Those in favor of the motion say aye. Those against it say nay. Aye, Elijah said the federal constituency, Elijah Man from Mondo State. This motion is on a call for payment of the 2018 2017 academic year amnesty beneficiaries, stipends, and allowances. The House notes that the Nigerian government, under the administration of late President Musa Yaradwa, on the 25th of June 20, 2009, introduced a presidential amnesty program as a platform to pardon former Niger Delta as dictators who surrender their arms and ammunition to the federal government for the sake of promoting peace and security of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. Also notes that after the disarmament and demobilization programs, the federal government instituted rehabilitation and reintegration programs which include the training and education of the concerned ex-agitators. Aware that through the amnesty program introduced, many ex-agitators were being enlisted for scholarship programs to study different courses in various Nigerian universities with approved payment of monthly stipend of 70,000 Naira only for upkeep and 20,000 Naira only for book allowances in, on semester basis in various universities in the Niger Delta region. Also aware that the presidential amnesty program has since inception been sustained by successive governments, not only to reduce unrest in the oil-rich region, but to also create conducive environment for improved and sustained economic activities, including oil and gas exploration, for the overall economic interest of the country. Recalls that the Presidential Amnesty Committee, in compliance with an earlier motion and resolution of this House, deployed qualified and successful candidates to Nigerian universities for the 2017 and 2018 academic section. Cognizant that some of the beneficiaries deployed for the 2017-2018 academic section have been paid, while others are unjustifiably denied payment for their monthly stipends and allowances running into about 12, 12 months concurrently. Observe that the affected beneficiary of the amnesty scholarship recently mobilized themselves for protests in Abuja and Niger Delta region because of the untold hardship, excruciating hunger, lack of academic concentration, and general mental torture caused by the non-payment of their monthly stipends and allowances. Worried that the inexplicable non-payment of stipends and allowances to the beneficiary, who are mostly the breadwinners of their respective families, is discriminatory, oppressive, and unjust, and therefore portends imminent grave danger if the situation is not immediately redressed. Resolved by the House to direct the Presidential Amnesty Committee to, without further delay, facilitate the payment of the affected beneficiaries, stipends and allowances, and mandate the Committee on Governmental Affairs and Legislative Compliance to monitor compliance and report back to the House within four weeks. I so move, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Honorable Akinjo. This motion is to draw the attention of this honorable house to the plight of students who are beneficiaries of the Presidential Amnesty Scholarship for the 2017-2018 academic section. The house will recall with sense of responsibility the approval of a motion that I moved within the ambit of this parliament regards the deployment of students for amnesty scholarship beneficiary in 2017-2018 around January this uh, uh, 2018. The motion was indeed approved and the amnesty uh, department under General Boro complied with our motion 
by deploying forthwith students to benefit that particular scholarship programs in the Niger Delta region for that period. But after the deployment of these students to their respective, or these S agitators to their universities, they settled down and they were receiving their academics or their, 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 their education that they required. But not sooner than later, Boro was dislodged from Amnesty uh, Institution and then we have uh, General Professor Dokubo who came in. Of course, he came in with his own styles and his own principles and his own uh, model of governance. And this, this reality as we talk today is that those students, they are in school for almost three semesters. They've done first semester, they've done second semester, they've done the third semesters. The tuition fee is paid, but their stipend is not paid. Their allowances are also not paid. And this is generating crisis. This is generating lack of concentration. Most of these S agitators who are beneficiaries of this scholarship, they are breadwinners of their family. They have children. Most of them are polygamous, and they have responsibility to their family. And as a very responsive and responsive responsible parliamentarian. This House must rise quickly to intervene in this matter and to restore their own personal dignity. If you are educated, if you are, if you are enjoying scholarship, you cannot enjoy scholarship paying your tuition and you are not also enjoying the allowances that is, that is part of that social contract. So the purpose and the purpose of this motion is to draw the attention of these parliamentarians to the plight of those students in schools and to request expeditiously that we pass this motion so that one, they can enjoy the scholarship, they can also enjoy the allowances. I have a responsibility to bring this to this to this parliament, and I request Mr. Speaker, my dear colleague, to accelerate pass this motion. Thank you and God bless.